my name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a human being who's found himself targeted, harassed, gang stalked, microwaved, genetically manipulated, drugged covertly, run around, and been made very, very, very sick with some horrible disease that nobody wants to admit exists. So, ah, oh God, ow. Oh. You know, I'm trying to make the best of this whole thing, you know. Really, this is, uh, you know, I'm trying to take stock of the, what, you know, what can you do, what do you have, what do you need, what can you do without, what, all this stuff. I'm trying to somehow hold Petra to a normal standard, because I don't want her to get taken away and locked up and all the crazy shit they've done to me, man. She doesn't need to go through all that shit. You know, we're so sick now. Both of us, I look at myself, I, I, it's unbelievable what this thing has done to me, what these people have had done to me and sat back and watched, you know? And as I walk to my program, my doctor's appointment every day, a mile each way or whatever it is, half an hour walk, I have no idea how far it is. I've never measured it, not without meaning to. You know, my brain is, is... <sighs> there are times when I can barely think. There are times when I cannot remember what I was just saying. And so everything goes unsaid and nothing gets done or resolved. And, you know, um, I've started thanks to... Uh, <sighs> Oh God, thanks to some wonderful people, I started taking some uh, silver, colloidal silver, ionic, you know, silver. I'm putting silver in my body, and uh, I haven't noticed any difference yet. Um, you know, um, I'm curious, uh, you know, I don't want to have to just find out, because... But, I'm, I'm, you know, like, I know this stuff kills everything, even the healthy organisms in your stomach. And so I'm eating a lot of yogurt, and I eat that anyway. Even though lactose and mi milk, and it's probably not good for me. I don't know anymore. I'm afraid to even drink water. I mean, that's how screwed up this whole thing is, you know? I look at the water... It's never clear. It's never without little bits of tiny stuff floating in it. Uh, you know, there were, <laughs> there were times during this insanity when it first started, and you know, you're like, ah, and you're all dosed out of your mind on some microbiology producing chemicals in your brain. And, um, Water, the place we lived in this hotel in Midtown that was so horribly torturous, was the, the, the water was never, never very good. And there were times when it was so foul. We were certain they'd fouled it on purpose. And I would go in the building, you know, two buildings actually, three floors, Two, four, six bathrooms or something, five bathrooms, six bathrooms, it's twelve bathrooms with sinks and check every sink with a big clear container and fill it up with water and look at it and sure enough, the same stuff was there. And so we would go to the store, we'd go to Whole Foods and they have a big pile of water for sale and we'd look at it and we'd hold it up to the light and sure enough, same little tiny, they almost look like bubbles, but they're not. Little tiny round things. Um, and in my life, 
whenever there's little round things, they usually have eyes. And they have some kind of nonlinear photonic response. In other words, light doesn't absorb or reflect the way you would expect it to from normal life because it's made of butterfly wings or bug back shells or, you know, exoskeletons. This is where they're figuring out all this nanotechnology. They're just stealing it all from our creator. And what are they doing with it? Anyway, that's a whole nother point. See, now I've forgotten entirely why I made this video. Oh yes, the pain in my foot. Thank God I can still think and walk and eat and talk and operate electronics. <laughs> but, you know, so as I walk down the street and, and everything hurts, uh, whether it's neuropathic pain or whether it's pain from thing, you know, burrows being eaten through my flesh or whether it's pain from uh, organisms living there or inflammatory response to uh, immunosuppressives, you know, who knows, but it hurts every single day, every single step, you know, and all oh, this poor woman she believes they're burning her feet with microwaves, and they may well be, I have no way to know. But I just imagine how it's really possible for this disease, whatever it's doing, whatever it is, uh, it's, it's a, some kind of mycoplasma or, you know, agrobacterium combined with, anyway, you know, T, T cells, transfer DNA, plasmids that, that don't have the whole organism DNA, but only the part they need in order to infect another host and change that host's biological function in order for the plasmid to survive and thrive. And they're calling it not alive, like a virus, which is smarter than most of us. Um, anyway, the pain could be caused from so many things, the, the delineate, demyelation of the nerve sheaths, the, 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 you know, on and on and on, inflammatory cytokonkin, you know, uh, macrophage activity at the, at the site, I mean, it could be so many things, and I don't know how to test for any of this stuff, but the whole reason I'm saying this is because every painful step when the pain shoots up my leg and in my heel and my ankles are burning from the... Anyway, and I know that, I try to tell myself, okay, dying is a natural thing, it's a natural process and be natural about it, but this is unnatural, man. Um, not that pain is not the human condition these days. Anyway, yes, the whole point was that here you are, human being, in a quote-unquote civilized, quote-unquote first world country, with medical insurance, no less, and you're being ravaged by disease, and there's no one that really cares besides other people who are you know, who are conscious enough to understand human suffering because they've gone through it perhaps, I don't know, and are able to reach out. But there's no medical model that, that, hi, okay, so you have more gallons. Well, we have some investigatory treatments or, you know, we're gonna treat you with allopathy or natural homeopathy, whatever, you know, genetic, anything, it's like, they just sweep, sweep us all under the rug. You know, I read a story yesterday about this poor woman who started or, or was influential in uh, lobbying and, and publicity and creating some kind of uh, agency that deals with people with Lyme disease and related disorders. And it's because she had, was given this more gallons, and uh, she worked really hard and suffered a lot, and then she developed finally small cell lung cancer, 
which ravaged her. She tried chemotherapy uh, and when all her hair fell out, she said, this is from a news article I read, that not only did her hair fall out, but millions of red, black, white, clear, and blue fibers along with springtails, dog mites, human mites, lice, spiders, and some other life form emerged from where her hair was. So, uh, you know, we're talking about uh, probably, you know, uh, insect hormones and, and, you know, other stuff that allows these parasites to exist in you. And if it's not that, then we got some crazy mixed up uh, field DNA that's transcribing itself into living beings in a biogenesis. I mean, you can go on and on. I can't say because I don't have any way to test this. And they keep my life so unstable and they keep me so down that I barely have the energy to even think about it at times. And it's really kind of sad. But there is, so she died and all this stuff came out of her. She left in her will the, the, she wanted to leave her body to science because she said, uh, you know, science will want to study this and find out how to help cure it. Unfortunately, nobody wanted her body. Nobody wanted to study her body. And her husband finally gave up and had her cremated and is spreading her ashes uh, where they are, where they were, or whatever. And, you know, God bless her. This is, this is our science. This is our, our medical team, our, this is the future. The future of the world is, you know, I mean, I, I'm really like amazed that humanity is even here. And it may just be a matter of time, people. I'm highly intuitive. And God has given me this curse or gift and I see things in, that I don't even understand, you know? And, anyway, thanks for watching, really. And God bless all of us.